it, it does get frustrating though when when you just want someone to see your point of view mm. depending on what it is but yeah i know that the black lives matter thing that that was a, that was a, a pretty big one yeah have you had some conversations where you've uh you've had those moments you because you just you just pointed it out like when someone just you just want them to see your view and perspective mm. is there something of recent not, that not so much not with the people that i know the people because obviously the people you surround yourself with they're going to have similar values and beliefs to you, you. Sure. so it's like preaching to the choir yeah um but just seeing posts comments on social media people with that opposing view and you're like oh really yeah really when the, the ones that are going on about um white people and how they cop racism too of course they do but then the whole all lives matter argument that sort of thing it's you've got to steer away from the, the generalization yes all lives matter every individual matters but this is the the issue at the moment is that we're focusing on this minority group that yeah. has copped it for so long yeah why can't you just jump on board, <laughs> right. follow that, acknowledge that, that perspectives need to change surrounding that and attitudes need to change yeah. around that. It's, it's tough. It, it's, uh, it, here's the thing. It's a nuanced conversation, mm. right? It's, it's a strange time where you can say the words, all lives matter, <laughs> and get into serious arguments <laughs> or if you're a big enough person you know be i don't even like to say cancelled mm. like we're living in cancel culture what is that yeah but you know what i mean like they're, they're going to get um shot down potentially by mm. tens of thousands but i think people do that because i mean you, you tell me your perspective i think when people get emotional about saying those words oh, all lives matter i think because they may believe it distracts and it distracts and it doesn't acknowledge the main problem at hand, mm. right? Minority groups getting discriminated against and police brutality, right? Where it sounds like if you just hop on board, it would say it's like, but if you, if you just say that, you might be ignoring this over here. But the thing is, just because you say that all lives matter doesn't mean you disagree mm. or you don't, you're not for also minority groups like Black Lives Matter getting, mm. getting discriminated against. But everyone's going to interpret that differently. Mm, 100%. And there's that little analogy, and I saw this floating around um, on the internet of people saying all houses matter. And then someone's like, no, nah, but this one's on fire. Why are you watering that house? Uh, and, there's, and there's no fire on wow. it. And it's, That's uh, really good. But, but this one's on fire. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you watering this it's one? True. Like, yes, they do matter. Yeah. But you might have some embers over here, right? Yeah. But you got a fucking blazing fucking fire over here. Yeah. Get some water to it. Yeah. That's, gr that's a great analogy. Yeah. I think that encapsulates it really well. Mm. And yeah, so that little image that I saw that I was like, yeah. That's it. I agree with that. But it's a problem about social media. Yeah. I and mean, we all know. It's like... It's just up to the individual and how they interpret things.